Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm not a bike mechanic. But I do have a lot of experience riding bicycles, which means, ultimately, I've learned how to maintain bicycles. One of the things that I have uh, been particularly uh, cognizant of learning is the difference between different types of bicycle lube. This is the lubricant that goes on your chain. If your chain goes squeak, 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 you probably need one of these products. Uh, over here is a wet lube. Uh, this is a lube where the actual moisture is part of the lubricating process. That's different from a dry lube. A dry lube uses a suspension fluid to hold dry particles that you shake up and spread throughout. The benefit of a dry lube is that in addition to spreading the dry particles under the chain, it's also capable of uh, cleaning your chain at the same time. And the reason they could do this is because that's a cleaning fluid that it's suspended in, which just makes perfect sense, doesn't it? This will help you go longer in between major washings of your bicycle. And uh, if you do it often, it will lead to a longer chain life. Uh, not to mention none of that squeaky squeak. So let's go ahead and get started uh, putting lubricant, dry lubricant, on a chain. First thing you wanna do is shake it up. Can't shake it up too much. It's important. Gotta suspend. All right. And the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and apply that that right there apply it to the chain and I just get it a bottle on here and just slowly rotate the wheel backwards squirting evenly onto the chain go all the way around if you overlap it's not a big deal the more you get on here actually the better job it's gonna do once you have liberally applied oil to the chain, you're gonna to want to get that oil deep into the chain's links. The way you do that is by spinning and changing through the gears. Go all the way down, go all the way up, all the way back down again. You wanna hit the front chain ring. do this for a while get any off of your bike and let it sit I say give it uh, between five minutes and half an hour what I do is is I go about other tasks uh, and cleaning on the bike and looking at the derailleur system making sure that there's no clunks of dirt in there. Okay, and we're back. It's been an undetermined amount of time, uh, but long enough to allow the oil to sit into the chain. Uh, and uh, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is wipe off the excess, which is actually the process of cleaning it. Grab a rag, which you don't care anything about. Put that onto the chain, as so. Just give it a little grab. Make sure that you're not in the way of the wheel spinning. And just begin to rotate. with your fingers gently on the chain. Change up, put a new spot in. Every time that you switch, you're gonna get a better chance to clean. This is a great way to clean both in between chain cleanings, and if you're not a person who can throw a whole bunch of water on your bike, you know, you live in an apartment or whatever. Making sure you clean everything though. But this is a great way to get the chain clean. And you can keep cleaning it, you pushed all of the fluid filled uh, dry particulate into the chain already. There's absolutely, you can keep cleaning it and you're not going to cause a problem for it. Do this regularly. You'll save the life of your chain. You'll never go squeak, squeak, squeak. 
and uh, you won't have to uh, throw a bunch of water in a full-on bicycle wash at your bicycle. I'm Kevin and I hope you appreciated this tip about lubricating your chain with dry lubricant.